you're probably thinking, where did Ebride Explorers move to? Did he move to some popular European beach destination? Well, no. But I will give you a hint, it is on the Mediterranean. Still not sure? Star Wars was filmed here in Tunisia, where I'll be spending the next three months. Now, let's get into where we are staying. This is an Airbnb I booked for three months. It's situated in a beautiful location, and inside is cozy and comfortable. I'm only paying about $1,000 for three months, which these days I find is a pretty good price. There's a beautiful beach around the corner from where we live. It's usually not too crowded, and there's a beach bar that serves food and drinks. It's so refreshing to get into the water daily and feel the sun. I love coming out here in the mornings and just taking in the fresh air, the quietness of the beach since it's early morning. It's really chill. I mean, the fact that this is five minutes away from where I live, it's pretty nice. We grabbed a taxi and headed into the ancient port city of Hamamat. In the first century, there was a settlement known as Paput. It was here in Hamamat and was a Roman colony in the second century. It later had its walls built in the 13th century and the Bedina built in the 15th century. Hamamatz has fallen under Roman, Spanish, Ottoman, and French rule before. Walking through the Medina can be a daunting experience. It's busy, and shopkeepers are desperately wanting your business. It feels so alive. We ran into a small parade that was going down a narrow street, as well as a group of football fans cheering on their team. Walking along the walls of the city, we got to witness one of the most amazing sunsets I've ever seen. The orange ball in the sky, slowly dropping, in tune with the people and the call to prayer in the distance, was truly epic. I really love just the architecture and design of the buildings here. The white, like, colored stone with all the blue and different colors, it just looks so cool, so incredible. Nothing like I've ever seen before. All right, so if what you've seen already hasn't convinced you yet to move to Tunisia, here's a few more things. The cost of living in Tunisia is four times lower than the United States. So things like food, entertainment, basic necessities, all these things are way cheaper while living here in Tunisia versus the US. This can be a huge, huge game changer if you're a digital nomad or someone that is just trying to save a lot of money but also travel and live in other places. Another big reason, food. Food here is incredible. Everything I've had is really good and also really cheap. I'm talking between $1 to $3 for a pretty big sized meal. So that's another huge pro to living here in Tunisia. The people you encounter daily are super friendly. I experienced it before traveling around Europe, but I'm always just shocked by how nice and just, you know, caring people are. I mean, these are complete strangers. I don't know anybody in this country, yet um, we've had a lot of people try to just help us and give us directions or just ask how we're doing and how we're finding, you know, living here. Um, so that's a huge plus, I would say. Basic just normal tourist visa for Tunisia is three months. If you're from the United States or most European countries, you can easily just pack your stuff and come and live in this country for three months. I'm really looking forward to telling different stories and showing you guys this country over the next few months. There's a lot of ancient history and things to see here and just a lot of cool footage to take. Like, this whole country looks incredible. If you guys like this video, please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the other side.